and welcome to the Daily Digestion Channel and welcome back to another video. Wow, that girl just about ran into a mailbox right in front of me. And yeah, that was pretty scary. But uh, what I wanted to talk to you about today was when you know things are right. When you're questioning yourself and you're doubting like, should I be doing this? Well, today I planned a little adventure. It was kind of last minute, but not really. I had it on my mind and it's been on my mind for a long time to take a little camping trip. So I've just really been super stressed out. It just seems like I can't stop. And I don't know if you're the type of person that tends to get a little OCD and tripped out and life just keeps coming at you and you can't stop. Well, that's where I've been lately. And it's just, guys, it's been bad because, and I say when it's been bad, is it's that time of the year when I have a tendency to do that. This is the time of the year that I had my prolapse and I was training for a 5K and I fractured my pelvic pubic bone, which in turn ended up to be a, um, a, a soft tissue injury that did not heal up. So unfortunately, I ended up uh, 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 prolapsing my intestines and some of my organs. Yeah, guys, it wasn't very pretty. And needless to say, it was a learning experience. And I've come a long way from that. But what I want to say is I know when I'm getting to that point. And uh, so I, I just wanted to make a video about this because I'm really super duper stoked about this day and the way things have been going. I've had a lot of great luck. One of the things that happened is everything just lined up for me to go after not lining up for me to go, including the sunshine. Okay, so then I end up coming out to the, the camping place and it was first come first serve. I didn't think there would be a spot and luckily there was a spot until Thursday and that worked out and that was a total shocker. So I was like, yes, yes. And I just, I was like, okay, I really felt like God was telling me that I needed to go camping. But, you know, I feel guilty leaving my family and coming off by myself with my dog, even though I need it really, really bad. And they don't really need me. My son is 18 years old. My husband is a grown man. I'm sure he would enjoy having the house to himself without me being standing around all the time. Which, you know, not that I'm standing around. I'm constantly, like, slaving away. I mean, I try to do above and beyond for everybody to make everybody happy, including, like, cooking, making sure, you know, everybody's bellies are full. I'm always, like feeling like I need to make sure everybody eats, blah, 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 clothes cleaned, dishes washed, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's on and on, pets fed, blah, 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 which everybody else can do that too. Like, why do I always have to feel like I have to be the one to take care of everything? I shouldn't. It's really not my responsibility so much as I just don't like looking at it and everybody has to, uh, you know, feel like I have to do it. Okay, so getting ready was a major ordeal. I felt like I really should have been resting, but I'm here now, and I can do whatever I want. And this, the, what is so exciting is nobody, there's no dirty dishes. There's, it's just me and my dog, and I can do whatever I want to do. Like, which is going to be nothing for a while. But what I wanted to make this video about was how amazing it was that I came out here and the spot was first come first serve and it's perfect. Like, it's the perfect spot, like, ever. Like, it really is. Like, the spot is just, like, so me where it is and like so privacy and I wanted the privacy 
And then the next thing, like there's all these families and young kids around. I mean, it's great where this is. Oh my gosh, I love this place. This place is the best place I've ever been. Like hands down, it's amazing. And um, so, long story short, I got here and the spot was till Thursday. I only was just wanting a spot maybe for a day, but I was kind of thinking about staying longer. But this spot is going to be open until I have to be out by Thursday, which is Sunday today. That's a lot of time and I can stay as long as I want. The cool thing about first come first serve that most people don't know. Hey guys. The first thing about the great thing about first come first third, third that that's the spot I stayed at before it was so amazing and there's my dog the the amazing thing about first come first serve and I didn't realize this before is you can literally and I'm gonna back up just because it's gonna be easier for me to pull out if I have to is that you can until since it's it's first come first serve until it's res on a reservation the reserve the person that's coming here isn't coming until thursday and the, i didn't realize that about first come first serve that when you stay first come first serve you get to stay as long as it's first come first serve i know that probably doesn't make sense to you unless you're a camper but that's pretty amazing because a lot of times you don't know if you want to stay that long or not and this way it's like I can decide to leave and not pay for it or I can just continue to pay for it until Thursday so I can pay night by day by day I know it's it's hard to understand but um, if you don't understand it, just leave a question down below and I'll try to help you understand it. But, um, cause I'm, I'm probably not doing a very good job of it. I'm hungry. I just, uh, it's been rough and I still got to go pay for my site, which I haven't done that. So it's okay. So I'm going to go do that now. And, um, so... Um, I'm going to go do that now and i um, going to go pay for my site and uh, go get, take care of my dog. But what I wanted to say is then I was driving down the road and I found firewood for free and I didn't want to buy any. And I was like, no way. Free firewood? Not to mention there may be firewood around at these camp, at some of these places. Um, where people just left. So that's another thing I need to go see. But in my spot, there's really. Hey, Jet! Here's my dog. Hey, Jet! What are you doing? Are you being a good boy? Are you being good, Jet? Are you being good? I love you, Jet. I love you. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. You're so good. He was so patient. He's so good. I love my little doggy. Okay, so yeah, so check out all of this free firewood. That's how much free firewood I just got. Like, that is amazing. Look at that. That was free. Somebody had it on the side of the road. They had chopped some tree down that was rotten and they just laid it out there. But here's my camping spot. Isn't it so freaking cool? And here's my teardrop camper. I'll give you a tour of it. Um, this is this was a hand uh, made teardrop camper, and I love it, guys. It's perfect for me and my little car. Like, and no joke, it really is because I don't want anything big. I don't cook because I eat all raw foods and. So it's just a basic build. It's like just got electricity in it. 
and I can hook it up. This guy made this, so it's brand new. Like, and he made it and sold it and because he, he decided he wanted to make something else different, but that's the other side. But yeah, it's got a cool little compartment and I'll do like a tour of my teardrop camper later on because um, I haven't done that and I've been meaning to, but so like here's the electrical hookup. So I can put my little camper, which has electricity and I can hook it up to that. Uh, so that's pretty stoke and cool. This place is 20 bucks a night and it's pretty awesome. So um, I'll do some more tour of it, but that's just a little short video. So we gotta go pay for my site and get situated because I just wanna make a video about like how God lined this all up and how God keeps telling me that it's like, I'm supposed to be here, like the firewood, like the, you know, the spot, like just everything's just working out. I'm just so thankful because I needed a break and I needed to be with Jesus. I needed to be with Jesus and I needed a break and it's so beautiful here and there's so many places to hike. And I love this place, like, oh my gosh, the smell. When you come out here, it's just pure toxic, pure oxygen. Like, and the weather's been perfect. Like, I'm just so thankful I waited till the time t was right because the time is right and the time is now and it's just all working out really super great. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about things you wanna see um, me on my camping trip of like uh, what I'm, eating what I'm um what I'm you know eating raw food on my camping trip I could do a video on that um dang it I forgot my walking stick but it looks like somebody left a walking stick and they surely did actually it's a fire stick I'm gonna use it for a walking stick oh my god this is perfect. I I can't believe this. Like last time I didn't have a walking stick and I carried it around in my car forever because I was like gonna come up here, I was gonna go camping. And what are the chances of someone leaving this? And I served at church today, guys. And let me tell you something, I serve at the most amazing church ever. Like this church is amazing. I don't know if all churches are like this, but I've never experienced anything like it. Like the Holy Spirit and it being in a church. Like it's so powerful. And I don't know if it's just because like of that I'm able to experience it because my kids are, or I'm just like at that age. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like it's so amazing. Like how that has been, but I gotta go. I got stuff to do, and um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.